She's talking about herself. She's fully aware, and let me tell you why. Look at this freaking title, dude. <laughs> Come on. My last video proves it. I don't know how that went over your head if you didn't see my last video. And then right now, it's just like, dude, like, she's fully aware. The thing is, is she's okay with it. She's fine with that. Like, as long as it still brings in the coin, as long as it still brings in what's needed, she's, she's fine. Like, she's... Bro, I have a good life. I have a good life. What is everyone's fascination with like keeping people accountable these days? Honestly, like just some things you just need to lie. Like I was telling about this, this is something that he should have just kept the lie going because like it just, anyways, I don't know. I really just don't think that he should have admitted to that. That's like one of those like lies you just gotta like keep going with. But I don't know, I, like it, I think it just hurt the family and he had drank so much. He fell into one of my uh, daughter's beds, stone drunk. And at that point, I was so afraid I was going to lose my children. I will be a really good mom. There were maybe like five other people in the theater with us, and it was just like no one was saying anything. And it's like I don't want to be the one to say anything because also like I will be a really good mom. Like we were saying, they're teenagers, and teenagers are just more annoying. They just laugh at you more. Like, uh, like it just like I don't know. Fill the room with the juice. That's a lot of loot. That bit fire. Yeah, she kind of cute. It's time for makeup. Perfect style. And then we're all waiting for, for, for. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, honestly, I need to stop. But literally, question, should I do a video on the Britney Spears documentary on Netflix? Because, look, I haven't watched it yet. And I'm thinking, like, maybe we can go live and watch it together. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know down below. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, hello, my name is Pearl. And in today's video, we are going to be reacting to Miss Trisha Paytas. Now, I came across a video called Why Trisha Paytas Started Dating Moses. And I was like, that's a great question, but also, duh, she wants to get married. Also, duh, she wants to have kids. But also, let's let's dive deeper. Let's dive deeper. So, we're going to react to that, and then after that, we're going to react to keeping the lies going, dot, dot, dot. Which, honestly, let's just see the level of projection. If you haven't seen Def Noodle's video, which I'm pretty sure you have, if you're watching my channel, at least, on him talking about this video briefly so I, i'm just curious it is a long one 17 minutes so definitely i'll get you a snack i literally just got done eating and omg go get these products okay if you go to trader joe's just go get these products if you haven't had them i just put you on okay i just put you on i literally feel so freaking full literally less than 500 calories what like 20 something plus grams of protein like anyways let's hop in this and see what's going on and Mr. Trisha Paytas is alive also while we're getting that ready you guys I came across <gasps> the whole petty page mysterious Trisha Paytas like if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you do know what I'm talking about, please leave a comment down below. I was just like so mind blown, you guys. I had no idea that Petty Page was like defending Trisha like that. Like I didn't know that she, I didn't even know she had beef with uh, Mysterious. Like I'm over here like, y'all, come on now. If she had beef with Mysterious, then obviously it's because she's getting a lot of attention and miss petty page don't like that let's be honest i mean it's in the name clearly petty page i mean <laughs> and cutting tell explain to me anyways why trisha trisha my bad girl why trisha paytas started dating moses and cutting tell explain to me why you're dating my brother-in-law nobody gives a fuck <laughs> well obviously you do about any of the bullshit you're talking about other than that. Oh, oh, really? Why are you dating my brother-in-law? Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you the truth? Like, honestly? Yes. Because, like, at first it was, like, I just thought it was just, like, funny. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be so funny. Like, I just, like, fuck him, and then I'm coming back on the podcast. Like, uh -huh, I fucked your brother. <laughs> yeah. And? Yeah. That's it? I mean, that's how it started, for sure. So do you usually fuck people out of just to make a joke? Right. Kind of yeah. Oh, well, no, not always, but like, yeah, like sometimes to be like, oh, I fuck this person. It's like funny. Mm. You're so sad. So, Mo so you fucked oh. Moses for a joke, but then you found out that he that he was much more than a joke to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is Moses' yeah, sign? Can y'all tell me what's his zodiac sign? Are, so at first, well, you know, at first I was like, what's going on? This is all making me very uncomfortable because. <laughs> I kept, Mo Moses kept popping up in your socials mm -hmm. and not telling us. 
So I was like, hey, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> That's annoying. I don't know why that. I was like, why don't you just tell him, like... Well, that I agree with, because he made it way worse by not telling us. Yeah, because we, <laughs> we, like, definitely were, like, the first two weeks of quarantine just attached at the hip, for sure. And then he had a traumatic event at his house, and then he just, like, I'm like, we should stay here forever. And that's what happened. Um, we've had, like, two, like, well, it's not really breakups, but we've had, like, two-ish, like, times where we, like, stopped talking to each other, but we've gotten back to each other, so. Yeah, you guys had a couple blow-ups. Did we? How do you know? He no. said it? Told you? He, yes. Okay. <laughs> you actually were the reason of our first breakup. Breakup. We weren't dating, but we were. Yeah, you made up. a fuck. You made this hysterical video about how I was trying to sabotage your relationship. Yeah, because in the thing, you literally we watched it together, and I was like, "Oh my!" You're like, "Oh yeah." He said, "You said he was applying as a goof," and I was like, "Is that true? You applied as a joke?" Yeah, you just said you fucked him as a joke. Okay, Why are you offended? <laughs> right. Like, girl. stop it. Get some help. Right. <laughs> no, because for real, for real, stop it. Yes, what are you doing? Like, I'm so confused. Now, before we hop into this next video, keeping the lines going, we're literally at 93K views. Interesting. 6.6K dislikes. Yikes. So this is definitely... What is this that she put in her, uh... In her, uh... <laughs> her description new drop october 1st sad boy 2005 you know what let me just back to what i was doing anyways let's read some of these comments i sad how moses can't even have a different opinion than her yeah but see what we need to realize is that he's okay with that let's let us not forget he is okay with that he's absolutely fine with that i feel like i have seen relationships like this so many times trisha needs to learn that feeling guilty about shitty behavior is not the same as being triggered <sighs> Yeah, but that would take self introspection. Like, you would need to literally be able to be self-aware of your own thoughts, which... But, yeah, that that is not Trisha. Like, come on now, we know that Trisha is totally projecting in this video. She is telling us exactly why she lies. It's like art imitating life, and it's so telling. And what's interesting is that that's kind of, like, contradicting to what Petty Page said. But then again, Petty Page's video, um, her, it just had me like, girl, I can't even, I don't even know if I would want to make a video on this. It's so all over the place. You monetize this video and you double down on behalf of a pathological liar for AdSense and to discredit one of your opponents because you were jealous of their success. What is everyone's fascination with keeping people's account of accountable these days girl right what kind of what i can't did she really say that okay wait, let's get in this let's get in this let's get in this stop reading reading rainbow okay we're gonna stop now seems like moses doesn't like her pathologically lying either of course not just keep the lie going trisha paytas everybody and she knows she's talking about herself she's fully aware and let me tell you why look at this freaking title dude <laughs> come on my last video proves it i don't know how that went over your head if you didn't see my last video and then right now it's just like dude like she's fully aware the thing is that she's okay with it she's fine with that like as long as it still brings in the coin as long as it still brings in what's needed she's she's fine like she bro i have a good life i have a good life Real recognize real. I have a good life. Okay, I'm not gonna just ruin it and destroy it over my emotions. By the way, it's okay to feel emotions. Right? Right. Okay. Mm. Okay. Makeup fire, not even gonna lie. Ha! <laughs> I love that look. I'm gonna vlog separately, but I wanted to do you a You might need to do that. That pink. Uh, what? By the way, it needs to have This comes out October 1st. I don't know if it's cute, girl. October 1st. Get it, mm. Subway, the spooky collection okay. is available October only. And then we have new stuff coming November. Oh, was that the sad box. boy 2005? Anywho, Girl. Um, so we were actually having a discussion yesterday in the car and I'm gonna try and recreate that because- Are you gonna try to recreate it? <laughs> you <laughs> fake. Yeah, I bought Evan Hansen. Oh. And cause like on the way home from dropping my, my sister, my mom- Look at this dogs, man's face. Like we had a conversation and I was like, oh, I love this conversation. I wish we were having it on camera. Look at his face. Was one shocked you were, so into the movie that you wanted to discuss it after. So, okay. Dear Evan oh, Hansen. Pause. Yeah, we, Can I just say that Moses gives off the same energy as um, Nathan did with Jeffree Star? Like, it was very much like. Mm. 
Like, it, it's that energy. Like, whatever that is that I just did, it's that. So, first and foremost, we saw it with, a, what did you say? You, you saw them. I only, I heard, like, teenagers in the back. Like, in the very back, just freaking, you said there were two girls and two guys. Like, two couples. And the girls were just going at each other. Doing. Well, they were talking. They were like laughing and talking, and like during serious shit, like during the singing. No, they were not watching the movie at all. At all. Well, at first it's like okay, but then towards the end, like literally through every song, I heard them giggling, laughing. I was like, oh my! I literally have never felt so angry. I literally stormed out of the theater. I was so pissed at the end. Like I was like trying to let them pass because I also had a feeling that they were gonna like say something to me or something because I just I know this type of annoying teenagers. These are the teenagers or whatever they are annoy the shit out of me. The ones that laugh and giggle and talk so fucking loud. It's like just. You miss me with all that. Sorry. Have a baby. I will be a really good mom. I can. Env I envision. I envision my. I have two babies. I envision. I have my boy and my girl. Oh, like I just knew. Like I just had a feeling. So I just like I was waiting for them to pass. They weren't passing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking bolt out. So I bolted out, and I was. So, anyways, that kind of said that it was bad. But I'm going to see Dear Evan for a while. Literally, people who talk during a movie is just like, what? And then during a musical, what? And then even during like a sad musical about fucking suicide, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I wanted to like. That's what I'm saying. They were not watching the movie because at no moment they were like. Being quiet. You know, sometimes no, the movie yeah. pulls you in and you're like, watch it. Mm -hmm. so she they, forgot what it's like to be a kid. So rude. There were maybe like five other people <laughs> in the theater with us and it was just like, no one was saying anything. And it's like, I don't want to be the one to say anything because also, like, I will be a really good mom. Like we were saying, they're teenagers and teenagers are just more annoying. They just laugh at you more. Like, uh, like, it just, uh, like I don't know. It's just, uh, they're so fucking they annoying. Do. So I was like, if I was myself, I would go. Like, but again, um, you just never know either. Been there. Like, are they gonna be, you know, it's not even embarrassed, it's more like I just don't want any more problems. But like, it was so fucking annoying. Like, I, I almost listened to like I was watching Snap. But can I just take the time to just say, like, look at her top lip, look at her top lip, and look at it very well. Just, just look at it. All right, stop. I mean, think about it. I can't help but look at it. I stare at it a lot when I'm looking at your show. Anywho, look. look at that. From that, like, it does suck because, like, I couldn't really fully be engulfed in it. But it was really good, and I did get emotional in a lot of parts, including the stepdad situation. Like, I, his was, like, the first one that made me cry when he finally, like, broke down. I was like, mm. Anyways, I've been wanting to see Dear Evan Henson for so long. I've never seen it on Broadway. I've seen the bootleg version online with Ben Platt, Mike Feist. I've seen, like, all the different versions of Jordan Fisher. I like just so many. And I love, I love, it. I love the songs. I think they have been playing the songs since the day I met most. It's like we just always played them. Love the musical. So I was very excited to see the movie. Now the movie. First of all, first and foremost, Ben Platt, freaking, literally, like, so good. Like I don't know what I don't. Literally, this is just proving the point that everyone just wants to find something to hate, just like Britney when she gets engaged, and Ben Platt, who originated the role, starred the role, created the role, like. People get, they're, they're just haters. Like, he literally was so good. He looked young. Like, he didn't look, like, old or anything. Like, I don't know. I don't know what people were thinking. Like, he looked, maybe my mom who knows nothing about him or the movie. They're like, he looks like a kid. Like, he is, anyways. So good. His performance was so good. Um, also, I mean, the way he sings, I don't think anyone could sing like him. That specific character of the role. Yeah, that's what Moses was saying last night. He was saying, like, you know, I think anyone else... He said it would feel out of place. I kind of disagree because I always think, like, musicals are the out-of-place songs. But I know what you're saying where you're, like, anyone else singing that, those songs. And they don't hit the same. Like, I love Jordan Fisher. He's so good. He's Evan Hansen right now on Broadway. But, like, it doesn't hit the same. I don't know. He's almost too cool. Like, Ben Platt just has the perfect. Yeah, but his range. Like, yeah. He almost, like, some songs he almost, like, cries as mm -hmm. he sings. And he, I don't, his range, the way he goes up and down. It's beautiful. Range, it's perfect. It's, like, so beautiful. And we noticed, like, the big difference because then we went home and I was watching, I was showing him clips from the Broadway production, just the clips he had online. And he did play him so different. Like, the Evan Hansen in the movie was, like, way, way anxious. Like, a real-life teen being anxious. Like, I could feel the anxiety, he took the pills, all stuff like that. As opposed to the play, I feel like he was a little more fun and upbeat, like we were thinking. Like, he's a little more quirky. Quirky, yeah. Playful. A little silly, playful, all that. Um... But overall, love the movie, love the cast. I thought everyone in the cast was really good. They had a lot of changes, so spoiler alerts to these changes. Um, Jared is obviously, well, he's gay in this movie, which I'm not really sure why they made him gay. I don't hate the decision, but it was weird. And they kind of made it like a point to make sure to say he was gay, which is like kind of weird too. I don't know. It didn't add to the story, so I don't know why they had to point it out that he was gay. I guess that was like a choice, but I don't know. I, I'm just assuming... I guess, 
to make, I don't know. Anyways, I guess I was fine, but it was just odd to me, and it kind of felt a little just like they were trying to push, like, we have a gay character, but, um, regardless, Ben Platt's in the movie, and he's a gay icon, and to me, Evan Hansen is, like, this, like, it kind of goes with that theme. Anyways, Connor did not have a very big part. Connor Murphy is a, one of my favorite characters in the original from The Bootleg, because Mike Vice, who I absolutely love, who's in West Side Story, who was in Newsies, like... He had so many songs, and one of my favorite songs, Disappear, is not in the movie, where it's like, no one deserves to be forgotten. Like, it's one of my favorite songs. No one should come and go and have no one know that they were never there. Like, I love that song so much when they sing it. So, like, a lot of Connor's songs got cut. He wasn't in it, like, in the in the play. I wonder if Trisha thinks she can sing. kind of like Evan's, like, I just think she can like, sing like, for real. Like, Evan hears him, like, talk to like, her throughout the Like, seriously? And I just feel like they like, kind no, of Like, no no disrespect. Like, really, does she really think she really can sing? really love Connor throughout the I'm, I'm play. I'm just curious. Like, kind of was just like, he was just a random kid that, like, yeah, unalive yeah, himself. Like, yeah, like like zero yeah and then even the family like it's just like he was an awful person and blah 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 where it's like i don't know i just felt like you weren't getting a sense of um of who connor was which kind of made it weird because then at the end he went to go like try and like find information about him and stuff like that and it just like it kind of fell flat and the guy who played connor like again kind of i mean love him but i don't know, I don't know who it was but kind of fell flat i don't know i don't know why they didn't have like vice do it like he's doing west side story why would he not do it this movie like i just I feel like they didn't ask him or something for some reason. I'm not really sure entirely why. Um, other differences. Oh, big spoiler. Big, big, big spoiler, which I wasn't, like, 100% sure about. But I had to, like, I thought it was. He <laughs> he freaking admits to not knowing Connor at the end, which I was, like. So, according to the article we read, they said that that was to, like, hold him accountable. So, as his character took accountability which what what is everyone's fascination with like keeping people accountable these days honestly like just some things you just need to lie like i was telling about this this is something that he should have just kept the lie going because like it just it made him awful it made the family feel awful like but she knows what she's doing i mean i know what you're saying gonna say but because the no, email well, i just no but i think that when he when he came clean he basically there was nothing else for him to face because right like he hit bottom everyone thought the worst of him. And from there, he could only go up, and it made him strong. Wait, on what part everyone thought the worst of him? After he confessed to lying. Yeah, but before that, no one thought bad of him. No, but at the beginning, nobody knew he existed. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly, it became this, like, oh, my God, this guy that gave this amazing speech and conversation. Look at her face. And then he dropped down to, he's a liar. He made all this up. Look at her face. Comeback. But then he faced that, and I think that's what made him stronger at the end. Mm -hmm. At the end, he's a bit of a different person. But this is, again, I know, and everyone can be like, wow, Trisha would defend a liar. But, like, you have to look at why the person is lying. Like, he actually was, like, lying because he was trying to tell people. And then he's like, honestly, they just need this comfort right now. They need to have a connection to Connor. And right. But at the end, it, by the end, everyone won. Right? Because at the end, the parents got the video of the Aww. kid. The orchard was there. The you are like, so. You're <laughs> something. You know that. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. This is a situation where I was, I was really like bummed, and then they kind of ended it with the family like not. And I want to see in the original again. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I think they had like a scholarship for Connor that he got the scholarship. So like they were trying to give him money in the movie. I think so. I think right, he ended up. They were trying. Right. So he ended up getting the money in the. But anyways, I don't know. I really just don't think that he should have admitted. To that that's like one of those like lies you just gotta like keep going with but i don't know I, like it i think it just hurt the family and then everyone thought the no, family were, yeah the family was hurt before he admitted to it when he admitted he resolved it from it yeah but they weren't gonna say anything because they didn't want him to ruin his life and people did look at him funny and then gave him probably cut you more no, of a they, complex and connor's parents were afraid he's gonna take his own life right but he didn't that's what well, we don't know we don't know what happened to evan oh, after yeah. the movie ended <laughs> But at the end, Evan is stronger, and then he meets the sister. At the end, he's a stronger person that did not take his own life. He was able to face the consequences. He grew. He grew. Well, we grew didn't see him grow. We don't know if he grew from it. The last scene, I mean, he came. And, uh, and then he sits down and writes a new letter. Look at her so, face, like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. It is, a, it is a controversial plot anyways, even the play. Like, a lot of people think Evan is a bad character because he did lie and he did all this stuff like that. Like, people actually, like, really... Go come for that character. They think he's like not good, but I do think there's like that's how I felt. Realness when, when the parents found out that he lied when he was at their house, 
And then after that, with his mom, that's what I felt. I felt like, what a horrible person. Like, this is a horrible person. But it's not a horrible person. It's someone with right. anxiety that has gotten a bad situation, but he's not a bad person. And that's what people there need to no know. Of course. Okay. Okay. And that's what, need to that's what people need to know. That's what people need to know. That's what people don't need to know. Because what you're doing is you're saying that, okay, if you have anxiety, if you have had an SA experience, if you have had a CP experience, if you have had any sort of experience that is negative and detrimental to who you are, who you want to be. I'm telling you right now, I have done it. I did it for years. I did it for years. Depression, depression, bipolar, depression, depression, childhood trauma, childhood trauma. I did it for years, multiple times, over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Like, I'm telling you, you cannot lay on that. Like, at some point, you have to grow out of that and become a better person. I don't care what your freaking symptoms are. There has to be a point where you realize that you have to fix yourself. You got to fix yourself. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Literally, nobody else is going to do it for you at all whatsoever. And it's just, it's just, it's something that's so annoying because it's just like, I lived life so long trying not to know what it was. Anxiety, depression, insomnia, like whatever, PTSD, whatever it was, like I just did not want to know. And then once I found out what it actually was, which is a combination of different things, I was immediately like, wow. So all of those times that I blamed it on anxiety or depression, it was really like PTSD and I was having an anxiety attack or I was having a panic attack or something or another to where I can actually distinguish that I am separating the different things that have happened and why they have happened and then fix it. Like, I don't understand this. Oh no, mm -mm, no uh -uh -mm. I went through it, so it makes sense for me to be this horrible person. Da -da 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 -da. No, I think about it all the time, every single day. Like I do not want to end up that person because I lived with that person. I have lived with that person and that it's scary. It's scary when you don't even realize how much you're affecting everybody around you. you it really is scary and this is exactly the mentality that that harbors it this is it right here that was good that's why i feel when he admitted to lying he became a good character look at her smile her smirk then look at her smirk. always was forgiven but before that i was like mm. She's not going to listen to him at all, regardless. No, but that's a real human. A real human sometimes make bad decisions and that doesn't mean they're a bad person. Right. So, I don't know. I don't like that people, like, come so hard on him, but I think that's, like, the first part of my character that's, like, real, and I love that, and, like, I don't know. I really love Evan Hansen, and so I don't like that people shit on it, and I also don't like that people shit on it. Like, I, I saw so much criticism with this movie, too, and I don't, I didn't really read into it because I don't want to, like, look at the criticism beforehand, but I just saw so many, like, bad reviews from it, and I don't understand why. I don't know. I don't really. I thought it was like amazing, and even my mom, who knew nothing about it, loved it. My sister never saw her, saw anything about it, and she loved it. So I just, you loved it. I. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's definitely a good movie. And I thought it was super emotional. I thought literally it was another like, issue is that she like the way she's explaining like, oh, my mom loved it, my sister loved it, and I, of course you loved it. Like, I hate to say it, and I don't want to make this a race thing, but like, actually, let's not make it a race thing. Let's just say people in general. People love to use their environment as facts for well, everyone else's worldview is invalid and it is the sign of an egotistical person of a manipulative person if you can't step outside of yourself and see someone else's perspective that represents a base level a lack of empathy because that is the basis of empathy is seeing someone else's perspective and not gaslighting them for it which is what you were doing here like i don't care that your mom liked it or your sister liked it or moses liked it like if that's the critiques that's the critiques baby girl you know what i'm saying like numbers don't lie so i don't under, i don't understand this like let me be blind to my own opinion like i don't understand that like i don't know i i really enjoy a nice debate like i really do i mean sometimes obviously i can't you know, go that way if it's gonna like be detrimental to my mental health or I'm gonna be spiraling, you know, emotionally. But at the same time, like, I love a great debate. I love learning things and figuring out like what somebody else's like opinion is like. Not, I just don't understand. Like everybody, I mean, you liked it. Yeah, I mean, everybody around me likes it. Like, okay. Like what? It's relevant, you know, with the social media thing. And there was like one part where like, Oh, people were like coming for the family like after he posted like all of a sudden everyone was just like wow i killed myself too if i was in that family and i was just like 
that hit so hard because that has how people are. People freaking turn. Like, this family's, like, grieving no matter what the family's grieving, whether they think they were, like, a, like a contributor to it, whatever. It's like, why? People are so... That, like, triggered me. Like, everyone got in the... And, and they were going to be so nice about it. And they are like, you know what? We're not going to say anything about it, whatever. But it just sucks. People don't know the whole story to everything. And that just goes to show. And, like, social media can be awful. And, and maybe not, like, the character. I forgot her name. Oh, I freaking forgot her name. The female character with the braids that did the... Um, not you forgetting the only person with wow, braids. They kind of. Not you forgetting the only person with braids. Yikes! I don't know. I literally cannot think of her name right now. She had a little bit more of a part in this movie than she did in the play. Like her and Evan were like kind of friendly in this one. I thought they gave her more of a part, which is fine because she's kind of a big actor. She was in like the games and stuff so that's probably why and i think they gave her a new song i think she had her, a solo and i was like oh, okay um can you imagine being one of these people but i did not like her character either because then she's the one that freaking posted that private info that private message she not to share with anyone and she did it why just to get more money so people would have like meaning like imagine being like somebody who has been in acting classes you know from they were you know adolescents to like now and like now they're in broadway and now they're doing and then and then and then there's like someone on YouTube, like Trisha Paytas, that's like critiquing you. Just imagine, I would just literally be like, "And what have you been in?" Like, what? I was like, "Who are you?" <laughs> that to me was a shit character. And then she was judging him with her eyes at the end of the year. I was like, uh, "I don't think you need to be judging because you were the one who posted it when he asked you not to." Like, oh, and she did that. I was like, "I know that feeling when you're like, don't." That's why. Right. Also, another lesson: don't send anything to anyone because everyone will use it against you. I don't care how nice a person is. That girl seemed super nice, and then she like used. She totally did it for personal gain. I was just like, hmm. "Don't you do the same thing?" Kind of project is for the family, but then you she sure do. Makes the family look bad. You're like, what's the point of this? I guess she maybe in my mind she didn't think it. You know, people don't think they post things and, like, I can relate to that. You post things and you don't know how that is going to come across. You probably didn't know, maybe, that the family could hate. Or maybe she did, because she's like, oh, people will donate after they see this because they'll be like, oh, poor Connor. I don't know. I also, I, it was, it was really good, but I, and I love, I love, love, love Ben Platt. I think he's, um, I don't know him as a person. And in interviews, he doesn't seem super personable, so it's not that I, like, love him. I just love him as an actor. I don't like him at all, but he's great in this movie. Like, you don't like him at all. Oh my god! I kind of love how Moses isn't interview. looking at the camera <laughs> at all. Been, like three interviews. No, I'm saying like I didn't see other roles that I like. What I'm saying is like he's <laughs> such an amazing singer. Oh no, you <laughs> did not. <laughs> it fits perfect. He's like I did not like him in this. I'm like oh my god, he was totally a good character and totally fine. Is <laughs> all I'm trying to say is that he's doing an amazing job in this movie, <laughs> which everyone said he wouldn't. Right, right, right. So. Hey. I'm but not, then, I'm not like, I'm a super objective. He did so well in this movie. If anyone else played Evan Hansen, everyone would be like, it's not one Ben Platt. It's, ben, it's not Ben Platt, you know, it's not the original. So, I don't know. I really don't think you can make everyone freaking happy. Because I know that's how it was with Brent. When they, they had half of the original cast and half new people, and so, like, the new people are like, it should have been Daphne Rubin Vega playing, you know, me. You know, and the people just are just never happy. So, I don't know. Well, I think that is the thing that people are. The reason it's been criticized, I think, it's also because, like, who's making the movie? The whole family thing, right? Like, his dad, his... It, people usually don't like that. They don't... If, I yeah. think if the producers, if the people conceiving the movie were not at all... Related. Related, then it would have felt different. But at the same time, I don't think it's a reason to hate, because it just happened to be. Sometimes you have families that are created... And they're all doing, no, you know, people always hate for that. And I actually feel bad for kids of famous people because I feel like they, no matter how hard they work, and, like, I get it to a certain degree. Like, a lot of people think Kendall Jenner just gets modeling gigs because, hi, just gets modeling gigs because, like, she's related to the Jenners. But, you know, she's pretty, and she's thin, and she's, like, I don't know. I, I'm sure she got in the door that way, or Johnny Depp's daughter, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like, yeah, of course they... Help, also, it but... happens in other professions, but nobody cares about it. So Who was your father, Trisha? There's as many lawyers that there's sons right, becomes a lawyer, right, yeah. a plumber, Come on their now. kid become a plumber, a Come on now. whatever it is. You just, that's Come the on. environment you're in, you're exposed to it, so you become good at it from a young age. Yeah, and right, that's a good point. That's a good point. People are, that's a good point. Oh my God, look at you, you get a cupcake. Thing. For me, if somebody is a son of, to me, like, you've been learning the craft since you were born. Mm -hmm. You've been exposed to it. Like, I know kids of famous musicians they're so talented 
And yeah. I'm so incredibly talented. It's amazing. I'm like, you can't learn that talent in school. Like, you have to, it's like learning a language. They were born into that world. Yeah, like you said, it's like also like genetics and hereditary. Like, so if your parent likes performing, chances are you probably will like performing too. I don't know where I came from because neither one of my parents performed, but <laughs> I, um, I, I, do, I do think that. And I mean, I always wish I had a famous relative. I wish there was like an in. It'd be so much easier. But like you said, everyone kind of has a connection, but. Girl, um, I loved it, and obviously Ben caught one of Tony, and obviously he's talented. I mean, it's not like he's like not a good singer. We'll definitely watch this movie. Right? Yeah, so good, and I need to go watch it again because they freaking ruined it. I was pissed. I actually, have I don't know how I feel about that whole so like. Long, that was like the first time I felt. Like it was. Connection thing, because the thing is, it's like yes, you can have connections, but there are people out there that didn't have any connections, and they are on top. Therefore work hard what the heck you have mad connections like if like i said if trisha gave a good five years working out therapy freaking medication no dating no having sex no sexual nothing like uh, again who would she be it's hard to explain like it was it is hard to explain who would she be? making noise and so loud like you couldn't ignore it like you wanted to but it just it was awful it was extreme Anyways, other than that, I give it 10 stars. I wanted to show my appreciation and support for the Ebony Hansen movie. And for those of you guys who are into Broadway, Beetlejuice is coming back March 2022. And we saw Presley Ryan and um, Alex Brightman on TikTok together. So I feel like they haven't announced the cast officially, but I feel like they're coming back. And I think that's super exciting. What a weird time in life where, like, the pandemic just paused everything and all, like, things are, like, coming back to what they were. It's so weird. Girl, bye. You're living a whole different life. <laughs> what? Oh, that's it. No, what? Just makes you appreciate certain oh, things yeah, that yeah, before yeah. we were taken for granted. Even just seeing a live show in Vegas was such a big deal. Yeah, I mean, one day without the mask, exactly. it's going to be like, wow, back to normal. But All right, that's our review of Jared Hansen. This vlog will continue at the Madonna Inn. <laughs> bye, you're a trash YouTuber. I'm so sorry. There's literally zero effort, no editing. Who cares about an intro? Who cares about an outro? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I'm Trisha Paytas. I just start. I just talk. Cool, I guess, but also lazy. Super duper lazy. The, the title alone says everything, and it actually puts more of an emphasis to my point in my last video. She's fully aware. Come on. Keeping the lies going, da 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 with lies in, in capital letters, and then you start the video plugging in your what merch or whatever she was plugging in sad boy 2005 regardless she here's here's how i'm gonna leave this 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 conversation is that what this is percent. why do you keep saying me, it's a conversation just, makeup is like my art form it's my therapy it that would be a two way so my goal is to hopefully two. be able to create a beautiful look by the end of this not a conversation <laughs> let me stop let me stop james charles anyway let's just think about last year let's think about when some of you popped on my channel right when y'all were like oh my god shane dawson oh my god i can't believe he said all these things oh my god imagine if shane dawson was continuing to post videos like this not like this per se but just imagine if he was to be continuing to post videos like nothing has changed like oh who cares about the hate like what are you talking about? Just imagine the difference of who could survive and who couldn't. Who would last, who wouldn't? Who got their account demonetized and who didn't? But yet, people trying to tell me ain't got nothing to do with gender or race. Love you guys so much. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know what y'all thought about Miss Trisha Paytas projecting for 17 minutes because what was that? Seriously, I literally got bored. So if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. If you are brand new, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button as gently as possible and I will see y'all all in my next video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hit the leaf with the top.